Welcome everyone, it is Andrew here from Apple Insider, and I know a lot of your devices right now look just like mine. They look like this, they look like this, just sitting on that install screen. Now whether you're looking at your Apple Watch, your iPhone, your iPad, or your Mac, there are a lot of things that you should know before you update to Apple's developer betas. So right now, WWDC has just finished its keynote, its first remote online only conference. And yeah, so Apple's released developer betas of everything. So updates, uh, Watch OS 7 for Apple Watch, we've got iOS 14, we've got iPad OS 14, and Mac OS Big Sur. So before you head and jump into all these, there's things you should know, including what models are supported across all the different updates and what it means for your devices. Let's go ahead and talk about it just a little bit more. To start, you need to make sure that you can actually get these. Right now, at the time of this recording, which is you know, June 22nd, right now Apple's only released developer betas. So these are for developers only and highly unstable very frequently, which means these are not the public betas. So if you're not a registered developer and you're not paying you know, that developer fee, you really shouldn't be running Apple's latest betas, at least for the time being. Now, Apple will be, in July, be releasing a public beta for all of its platforms, including, for the first time, watchOS. So that's right, so anyone in the public will be able to download iOS 14, iPadOS 14, watchOS 7, and macOS Big Sur. Until then, though, you should likely hold off. These things are buggy, and you really don't want to have to lose any of your data. There have been times where we've lost, you know, iCloud data, or backups haven't happened, or things have been bricked. I mean, right now the watch, the Apple Watch cannot even be reverted in its software update. So if you update this to Watch OS 7 and the battery is terrible, lasting a quarter of the day, then you're not going to be able to do anything. You're going to be stuck with just a basically crappy Apple Watch until the updates progress far enough that they think this thing is going to work correctly. So what I'm saying is, if you are wary at all about these bugs, hold off. There's plenty of time before these are released to the public for you to jump on the bandwagon and download them before everyone else. But you don't have to get them today. You don't have to download developer betas to play with them. Wait for the public betas until things are more stable and you're not gonna be at risk as losing all your information or breaking your devices or having any of the other issues that crop up with any major OS update. Now, saying you do move forward and want to update your devices, it's good to know that your devices are compatible. So starting off with iOS 14. iOS 14 will work with the iPod Touch 7th generation, the iPhone SE 1st and 2nd generation, and the iPhone 6S and newer. That's incredible because it's pretty much the same list that iOS 13 launched with and Apple is extending it here to its newest iOS 14. And there's just so many devices there. Glad something's being updated. Um, but lots of stuff is supported there with iOS 14 and iPadOS 14. So a lot of support there coming to those older devices. So you, if you do have any of those lying around, you want to update an older device that you're not using to play with, that's definitely going to be an option. Looking at our friend the Apple Watch here, Apple Watch WatchOS 7 will be supported on Apple Watch Series 3, Series 4, and Series 5. So 3, 4, and 5 are all supported versions so far, and obviously any new versions that are coming down Apple's product development pipeline. For macOS 11 Big Sur, Apple is supporting the Mac Pro 2013 and newer, the iMac Pro 2017 and newer, the 2014 and newer iMac, the 2014 and newer Mac Mini, the 2013 and later MacBook Pro, the 2013 and later MacBook Air, and the 2015 and later MacBook. This is a really exciting time, and there's a lot of devices that can be updated. There's a lot of new features to try out and play around with. Obviously, stay tuned to Apple Insider because we are going to be breaking down all of these updates, bring the latest features, going into all the smallest details, so you have everything you need without having to risk your own devices. So be sure to stay tuned to Apple Insider, subscribe, turn on the little bell icon so you get notifications every time we push these videos out. And uh, when the developers beta launch in July, it is a much, or the public betas launch in July, it is a much better time to go ahead and download and try them out for yourself. If you have any questions at all about the betas, hit us up. Reach me on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. I'd love to chat about the new updates and what we can come to expect. Hey everyone, did you guys like that video? Be sure to click on that like button so we can create content that we know that you guys want to see. And follow Apple Insider on all social media channels. If you want the best prices on any Apple gear, check out the Apple Insider price guide that is updated daily. 
And until next time, we'll see you later.